welcome to my channel where my motto is I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing and today's feature will be on making your own green screen studio for around $30 if not less now you can spend a little bit more if you want to get some auxiliary lighting I've bought two additional lights that are not in that figure they were $12.95 at Menards and it just makes it a little bit easier I suppose if you have even light behind you on the green screen so that's a thing to consider but I've made several videos without this lighting and they've turned out just fine let me uh, show you how I made this green screen how I hooked it all together and it's not a difficult thing to do then you can change your backgrounds in the snap of a finger or the wave of a hand or you can clap your hands you can use still photography you can use colored panels you can put a video behind you and you can even duplicate yourself and say hey dude how you doing dude I'm doing great so that's how easy it can be you can have things like appear that might startle you or you can just have fun there's only about four things that you need the green screen which you can get a 10 by 10 sheet for under $20 and that's through Amazon I you know you can get more expensive but for my needs it's worked out just fine they do sell a smaller size I would I would uh, caution you about getting a smaller one I think in the long run you'll regret it so I would uh, at a minimum I'd get a 10 foot by 10 foot screen that gives you plenty of space to root to work with you can spread out your arms and get everything covered the other things that you will need are two pieces of PVC pipe a one inch and a two inch and they need to be what are called schedule 40 that's a little bit thicker of uh, PVC and that's basically it now as far as making it stand you can buy stands they're kind of pricey but you can also set up in your garage and put three hooks up in the ceiling and suspend the green screen from those hooks this is the hook that I put in the ceiling and then the one inch PVC pipe this particular green screen has a one inch pocket at the top so it just slid in that pocket and then I cut a little slit little hole underneath the PVC pipe so the hook would fit through and hold it on the center one I only had two of the the red hooks so I just used a uh, another hook that I had just screwed it into a stud in the ceiling and here I used a piece of string so that I could draw it up to where it would be pretty much level across and you do need that in the center because a 10 foot 1 inch PVC pipe will bow a little bit if it doesn't have that support then to stop it from rolling out when it's on the floor I just put these little plastic clips on and that stops this from unrolling and to hold that initial PVC pipe on there this is uh, Gorilla Tape it's a, a heavier duty like duct tape but it won't deteriorate and get yucky like duct tape sometimes can over the years just tape that all the way across that holds this on level so I can roll it up so then initially just carefully started rolling this up you can kind of let the weight make it so it rolls up smoothly and when you're done you can roll the green screen up and then when you get to the top start with the center one this is just an inexpensive velcro strap and because the PVC and the material is lightweight it's not difficult to work with or hold this up here pull it snug that'll hold it until you can get to the outside edges and do those that's a great place to store the green screen it's out of the way doesn't interfere with any activity in the garage takes up very little space so consider making your green screen for yourself all you youtubers out there keep up the good work I'm just learning and I continue to learn as I go. I enjoy it. I hope you do too. This is Boiler Dan 1 where I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. Thanks so much for watching.